Hello guys, Pro have 2010 with you today with another exciting tutorial and today I'm going to be showing you how to create a little something like this inside of Sony Vegas. So check it out. Pretty epic, huh? So basically I walk, well, as soon as I walk beyond this point I appear and as soon as I walk behind this point I disappear. And this is using ma the masking tool option in Sony Vegas and it's only available in the pro versions of Sony Vegas. So if you have pro, pro version 8, 7, 9, all of them should work. But if you have some other type of version of Sony Vegas, they probably won't because since they don't have the option. And to check whether or not you do, let me just quickly show you. You just drag and drop your clip, clip into the timeline press here on the event pan top uh, crop tool and if you have a masking option here then you're good if not then you can go ahead and not follow this tutorial so before we begin uh, you do want to go ahead and uh, when you when recording your video you want to you want to have a frame where there's nobody in the image so make sure that it does your video doesn't start off with somebody already in the image you want to have some you want to have just a still background of the image so make sure you have that in mind once when you're shooting the video uh, and another thing you want to do is you want to make sure that your preview window here that your preview window shows your rendering is the same thing as your rendering options so if your preview window is not set to the dimensions of the rendering options uh, you are going to encounter some problems with this tutorial because we are going to take a snapshot of the preview here uh, using this uh, build inside tool in Sony Vegas so if you don't know how to do that, make sure you check out my other tutorial. It's in the link in the video description below. And now that I have finished this, let's go ahead and get to the tutorial. Okay, so you want to get to the part where there's nobody in the image, uh, nobody in the video, and you want to take a picture of it. Make sure that it's super high def possible of your uh, to make sure that it's a super high quality that your video that your video can or is. You want to make make sure you take a snapshot of the of the high def picture. Ugh, I don't know how to rephrase this. Okay, you just want to take a picture at its highest quality. There you go. To do that, you want to make sure that your preview is set to best and full. And this is going because if it's set to draft and quarter, if you take a snapshot of this, it might look. Yeah. So you want to make sure that it's set to best and full. This way, you can have the full resolution of your video. And once you have done that, you want to press on this save snapshot to file button. Once you have done that, it's automatically called image one, and it's going to ask you where do you want to save it. I'm not going to tell you where you should save your image, so save it wherever. And I'm going to call my image uh, background uh, video and press save. And it's going to automatically appear into your project media section up here or down there if you customized your workspace area. But defaultly, it's supposed to be here on the side. You want to now you want to go to your video layer, which is here. It's the blue one. Right click on it and press insert video track. And it's going to uh, create a new layer above this one. So far nothing has changed because nothing is above this layer. Now before I proceed with this tutorial, I do want to trim my video up a little bit so that you, you wouldn't get me walking there and then the tutorial starts. So I'm just going to start at this point and once I'm finished, I'm going to end at around this point. And let me just clip that and let me move that back a little bit okay so once I have trimmed my video up a little bit you want to take your snapshot and you want to uh, the, the JPEG one and you want to put it on the layer above your video and you want to extend it uh, for as long as the video is uh, running so after you've done that you want to go ahead and just scroll around you can see that it's just a still image and if we just take this down a bit you can see that I appear from the back uh, you want to press on the pan event, event pan slash crop tool, and this is, you're going to get a menu like this. And you do want to click on the masking tool here, uh, make sure you enable this, and it's going to give you a different set of uh, options, a different set of tools that you can use uh, using the masking uh, capabilities. So you want to go ahead and make sure that you pressed the mask, not on the video, but on the picture. This is very important. You want to go ahead and press mask and you want to zoom in using your uh, using your mouse, the scroller thing in the middle. And you want to press control on your keyboard and you're going to have a hand which you can pan around the thing. If you want to zoom in, zoom in and pan around. 
Now you want to go ahead and grab your, make sure that this is not a, not selected, make sure that enable snapping is not selected, and you want to make sure that you have the uh, anchor tool uh, selected at this time. You want to go ahead and begin drawing your path. You might be a little bit confusing with the, with the pen tool in the beginning since it works mysterious ways, but you're going to get the hang of it uh, pretty soon. So you want to go ahead and start drawing your path. You want to start here at the top and go down. So go uh, press there, press here. And and if if it distorts your if it distorts your selection, you can see these things on the side. You want to go ahead and you want to press uh, the normal edit tool, and you want to take these little things on the side and just put them in the middle. That way, it won't uh, distort your next point in uh, in the selection process. So you want to go ahead and keep on doing that till the very bottom. Now, once you get here and you want to go down some, you're going to need to press Control on your keyboard. You're going to get a hand tool and scroll down. But afterwards, you start creating another mask. So you want to continue with the same path. And to do that, you need to select the normal edit tool, press on the previous point, and then uh, grab your uh, masking tool again and keep on drawing the path. And keep on doing that throughout the whole step. So Control, down some, normal edit tool, previous point, click, masking the pen tool, and keep on drawing that until the very end. Now I'm going to zoom out here so you can see, but I will finish my point. Okay, so uh, this is not very important, so I'll just draw a straight point down. Alright, now I want to zoom out, and I just want to show you that we're going to be selecting this whole side here. We're not going to draw a path this way. I mean, you can draw a path this way and then set it to subtract, but I'm j I just feel more comfortable doing it this way because we're going to be feathering out some more. So after you've drawn your last path along the along the object, you want to go ahead and draw a box, a rough box around the rest of the stage. It could either be this one or it could be that one. But all right, I'm going to talk about the different modes. Uh, it it could it could have been this one as well. Let me just show you what I'm talking about. I don't know if I could undo that right now. No. But you could you could have selected this part. There you go. If you selected this part, right, you can set this to subtract or negative, and it's gonna select this part. So it doesn't really matter how, which way you do it. So I'm not gonna tell you can't do it this way. But I will do it this way. All right. Once you have done that, you're going to see that uh, it's already pretty much good. If you take a look at the video, if you exit this out. You're going to see that everything beyond the object's point, uh, it's visible once you peer behind it. So if I play this back, it's already given us the desired effect. But it may, you, may, you may see a little bit of rough edges here on the edge, on the side of the object. So you want to go back to that pan event, event pan slash crop tool. You want to go here into the feathering, feathering type. You want to probably set it to both. And the feather amount, probably set it to about 5 pixels. And this is going to... Excuse me. This is going to kind of uh, fade it in and fade it out. So when you appear from behind the object, it's not a really a sharp edge that you're seeing your object from. It's kind of it's kind of uh, faded out and faded in. And that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Thank you guys for watching. Sorry if this is above five minutes. I try to describe it as fast as possible. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment sections below. Rate, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.